Okay, hello every hello everybody and today we're gonna be talking about a fire extinguisher um tamper or or flag seals. This is a tamper for flag seal or an evidence seal. You see it's got this little it basically is a big beaded rope. Like it looks like a piece of beaded rope. Then you put this around the pin and you shove that in there. I'm not actually gonna do it, but you put that around the pin and you shove that in there. And the purpose of these devices is they go on the pins, and it's just like these are like if you can put them like the fire extinguishers that are outdoors, an indoor one too. They basically show if the extinguisher has been tampered with because when somebody pulls the and it also holds the pin in place. But during an emergency, when you pull this, the reason this beat it, it would break. It would, the seal would break and allow you to remove the pin. I mean, there are some people who think it like. We look at it and they're like, well, that looks like it's holding the pin in place. Well, it actually is, but it, in the case of an emergency, you'd think it would prevent you from pulling it out, but it would break in an emergency. Um, and this is a, these are ones I got on eBay. I just got these 25 of them. Yeah, these are just the standard, standard temper shields. You can get different colors. These are, these are 14 pound breaking strength. You have to put 14 pounds on them before they'll break. But you can probably get one with either higher or lower breaking strength. I mean, I wouldn't really want to go any higher because you don't want this to be hard to break in an emergency. But yeah, and then now now what we're going to go ahead and bring in, we'll bring in a fire extinguisher that actually has one on it. So I'll show you what that would look like. Here's an Amorex fire extinguisher with a seal on it. You see, the seal here, it just goes around the pin. Let me turn it, you look under there, you see it going under there and it just goes around the back. But basically what it does is like if I try to wiggle the pan it won't come out. This is secure and by the way this will not pull through pull back through. And they're very they're, you just have to click them on. They're they're a little they're pretty easy to do. And now during an emergency we either pull the pin out, that's pretty hard that or twist it and pull, but the twisting pull is a little bit easier. We're gonna go ahead and hope you guys can see this. We're gonna go ahead and try to twist and pull this one here. Cause I can't pull it with this. We'll try to twist we'll just twist it. And pull the pin out like that. There we go. It's not ready to use. Now, now let's look at the tamper seal. Now let's look at the broken seal right there. You can clearly see that it it broke, which is what it's supposed to do. And now you can now you can hear what one sounds like when you click it through here. Let me pull this so you, can, you guys can hear this. That's the sound. But guys, I'll my microphone will pick that up. But yeah, that's the broken tamper seal right there. And now you need to replace it. Well, that that's going to be it for this time. If you have any comments about these or questions about these, please put them in the comments below. I will answer them. And like and subscribe if you like this video. And as always, I will see you next time.